Hello guys, if you want to convert Dota 2 MDL files to SMD files so that you can use them in Blender, then you might have stumbled upon a problem because you might have used Studio Compiler. And the thing about this program, Midway Cannon Fodder, is that when you select something, let's say Ancient Depression Model, and then you select the output directory, let's say desktop, then it closes. Or click on extract and this error pops up it has crashed so uh, there is an alternative which works and i'll show you ex i'll show you precisely how to do this how to export a mdl file to smd so you can model it in blender first off you need source sdk installed go to your steam library and then let me see uh all games tools and if you go down, you will find Source SDK. I have familiar with my favorite, so it's top on top of her. Uh, just install Source SDK. After you have done this, go to the links which are provided in my uh, in the description and download MDL Decompiler. This one right here. I'll just open this. This is the video which I watched where he shows you how to import your uh, models. Uh, models from Dota and I did this and so I have the root folder for Dota which is where I can select my model files. So anyway, download this. I can just... there we go. Uh, and you will have these files there. Go to your Steam Apps file folder. So it's uh, it's for me C disk, program files, Steam, Steam Apps and then go to your username uh, source SDK bin episode one and bin, and here just drag MDL decompiler fixed. I'll just move in place, and there we have it decompiler fixed. Copy it and paste it to your desktop as a shortcut. You can also uh, do, place this DLL file into your uh, bin too, but I, I don't know if that's necessary anyway. Now I have that on my uh, desktop, the MDL decompiler, which is better than this piece of shit. And this last program called XVI, you also have to download. So I'll do that. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Downloaded. So I'll just create a folder for this thing XVI. This program is for changing the MDL files so that you can actually be able to export them using this program. I'll just remove this name. There we go. So, yeah, XVI MDL decompiler. Let's say I want to change a hero. Let's see, hero, let's say Abaddon. So I'll go to Abaddon. Actually, I'll just copy this and paste it. Now I have pasted the Abaddon folder. And uh, let's say I want to change the weapon. Let's delete everything except from the weapon. There we go. So we have these three files now. So click on your uh, XVI and open it. Run. And this weird program will open. Click on File, Open. Locate your Abaddon. In this case, it's Abaddon. Let's say and click on the MDL, Weapon MDL, Open. Here you will see that it says uh, IDST1. Click where it says 1 and make it 0. Then click on Save As, click on the weapon and save. Now we have replaced the weapon with a new version which is a smate. So now we do need to do one more thing. Rename this to DX80. There we go. Now it should be working. So open your MDL decompiler. Run and select your file. Desktop, Abaddon, Weapon MDL. And my output file will be my desktop. Yeah, just desktop. Select, extract. Loaded model. So now it worked. Okay, and it will say complete dumping. Just close this, close this. I just make a folder called SMD 
drag everything there. Here you have it. Bind pose, blah 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 blah. Here is the thing you want. The weapon model. 100 kilobytes. So, you also want to export the textures. So, root materials. There we go. Here, models. Let me see. Heroes. Abaddon. Let's go down to the weapon. Weapon. Color. There we go. Color, mask, mask, normal. Copy. X. Let's make a folder called text. It's really dark here, so I can't see. There you go. Could barely see what I was typing, and my microphone was in the way. Just paste everything in here. Now you have to use the XVI program once more, because if you just open this, it will be an error. Telling you to go, let me see, telling you that it doesn't match version 7 to 4, something like that. So we'll do something which takes a little bit of time. You open XVI, again, run it, and now you have to change these four files, just like it, almost like you did with um, SMD, uh, MDL file. Open, file, file and open, go to your desktop and the texture file which you just created, and let's go, let's start with color. Color, then you just go to where it says 0 0.5, and then you type 0 0.4. There we go. Save as, just click on it, S uh, to click on the color which you just want to replace. Yes. Let's do the same with all the other files. Open, mask one. Change this to 0 0.4, well, 0 0.4 I mean. Save as, click on mask one, save, just to overwrite it. Let's do the same with mask two. 0. Point yeah, damn it. 0. Four. I can barely see in this room. Uh, save, mask to save. And then the last one. Open, normal, change this to zero, four. Or you could just hit control S. That's even faster. <laughs> X, and then you have it. Now we have uh, changed the values of them so you can actually open them using uh, VTF edits. So all of these files will be able to be opened now. So here we have the textures and the SMD file. And I'll just prove that it works. The SMD file, I want to apply the textures because it takes a little bit of time. Let's see. X no, import, source, engine, desktop. Where is it? SMD, weapon model, SMD. Here we have it. It's working. No errors. I hope this tutorial helped and yeah. Uh, go to the Dota 2 workshop video, which was uh, at the in videos at some parts, and just follow that video because this is like uh, a pro problem which many of the viewers of that video had. Because he in the video, the Swedish person, told people to use this program and it doesn't work with Windows 7 64 bits, I think. I think that's the pro problem. Or oh, it's just outdated. So this, pro this program doesn't work, basically, and I hope this video really helped you if you had watched that video or if you just had problems exporting or uh, converting MDL files to SMD files. I really hope this helped. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.